So I'm sure by now most of you have seen the example of uh, ray tracing that was added to Quake 2. So I thought I'd take a little bit of time and explore that with you guys. So I'm going through these screenshots here showing uh, without ray tracing and with ray tracing. And as you can see, in some areas it's unusually dark. Uh, there's with without ray tracing. But ray tracing is definitely working. And we'll see that as we explore the video a little bit. Another thing that you'll find with the ray tracing mod on Quake 2 is that the um, you can't see like the uh, tracers and different things that come from the f shots that you fire. You can see there's without ray tracing and there's with ray tracing. You can still see your crosshair. You just don't see the tracer that follows through. So, But you can definitely see the reflection. Um, don't necessarily care for the dark environment. Although it does look uh, pretty good in some areas, in other areas it's just too dark. So, uh, And we'll also take a look at the fact that it's actually loading the GPU a lot more with the ray tracing. So you can see here, uh, I'm running at 1080p right now in this segment of the video. and About 100 frames per second, up and down a little bit. You can see the floors are shiny, nice reflections and uh, lights coming from the explosions and different things. But you go into other areas and it's just really dark, almost too dark to see. But the areas where you can see, well, it does look a lot nicer. It looks pretty great for how old Quake 2 is. So you can see with the uh, little laser gun, the, the dot that follows like a tracer, but most of the other weapons, you can't see a trail that leads away. So let's uh, give it god mode and all the ammo and all the weapons here so we can experiment with the different weapons so here's this rail gun as you can see it it does the same damage but you just can't see anything other than your crosshair and even though it's dark in this area it still looks pretty nice looks a lot better than the original game i'd say but if you go into a dark area like this it's it's almost impossible to see. Um, you'd have to navigate like shooting so you can see a flash of light or something to see where you're going. As I'm doing here, going through this tunnel where you have to crouch. You can see the light at the end of the tunnel, so to speak. So, a very dark environment. This is still a work in progress too. A guy was doing this in his spare time, I guess an intern. Maybe for a college project or something. I'll put the link in the bottom of the video where you can download this mod if you want to play with it. It is kind of cool though to t see a game this old that gets ray tracing added to it. Very cool. So if what I've heard is accurate, NVIDIA is actually having this pr this project finished that was started. Um, so hopefully the end result will be uh, have better lighting and not so much uh, of a dark environment. I've tried adjusting uh, some of those settings in the console like you could do um, before but with the ray tracing added some of those console commands like for the intensity and uh, that kind of thing are not functional at least with this early mod. So I'm having to shoot here so I can find the whole <laughs> the tunnel to go back through. There, I found it. Couldn't see it before. So in just a minute, um, we're going to kick it up. We'll explore a little bit more and play a little bit more, but we'll kick it up to 1440p and we'll see that it does in fact have a hit on the frame rate. So it's definitely loading the GPU more at the uh, higher display resolution. In both cases, I'm running the monitor at 144 hertz at the 1080p and the uh, 1440p. So I blew that bad boy up. So let's uh, go ahead and change the resolution.
bump it up to 2560 by 1440 and then restart the game see how it looks you'll see that it'll drop the frame rate about a about half all right Establish communications. So you can see we're running about 60 frames per second. I do not have uh, V-Sync enabled. And my monitor is 144 hertz, so it's definitely uh, chugging along, loading the GPU a whole lot more than it was at the 1080p. Let's find our way through this dark tunnel again kind of irritating, but if they get this fixed, it'll be pretty nice. And if you look at the uh, web page where the developer was working on this project, you'll see it's also very dark in his screenshots, so I didn't notice that at first, and after I wasted a lot of time trying to get the environment lighter, uh, so I could actually see where I'm going in some of those dark areas, I noticed uh, the same on his screenshots, and it's like, wow. I burned a lot of calories trying to fix that, and it's, apparently that's just not fixable right right at this point. So, but the lighting definitely looks better. This is running on Vulkan, is the API, rather than OpenGL. And Quake still looks pretty darn good, even in the OpenGL form, for how old it is. It's still a, you know, a go-to game that uh, first-person shooters like myself still love, as old as it is. It's a lot of fun. The uh, mod um, for the ray tracing also works with the free demo version, so you can actually see your reflection looking up at the uh, surface of the water. And it's shiny, reflect good reflections where in the uh, stock version or the OpenGL version without ray tracing, it's basically a matte surface when you look at the water. It's almost like you're walking around and it's almost uh, about, the sun's about ready to go down. The way it's dark, it's kind of, kind of creepy in a way. So all in all, I mean, I think it's pretty amazing. It looks really good. I don't have a regular uh, non-RTX video card to see how this runs. If uh, I don't know that the uh, the tensor cores and DLSS are doing anything for this uh, experience here, it's hard to say without another GPU to test. It'd be nice to t see how it does with an AMD GPU or, you know, a 1070 or 1080, 1080 Ti to see uh, how the frame rate compares with uh, the ray tracing enabled. I love this weapon. It just destroys everything. Love how it just annihilates everything in its path. The railgun here is pretty sweet too. Too bad that you can't see the tracer. So anyway, I think we're going to wrap this up. I hope you uh, enjoyed this video. Again, look in the description for the links where you can download the mod to play, to play with it if you'd like to. So uh, take care, guys, and God bless.